Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make some spring decor from tin cans. So uh, I've been collecting tin cans and have a lot of my friends collecting for me. And um, so I chose the ones that I really like. The ones I like the most are the wider ones. Uh, and I like, I think this uh, one is a potted meat can maybe. Uh, the other one was a, like a large tuna can, I think. And then some of the vegetables come with the wider mouths. And, uh, and that's the ones that I generally like also. But what I like to do is um, go through and paint all of the cans uh, one solid color, usually uh, some form of white, in this case, I'm doing buttercream and uh, I just like to paint everything a good neutral solid color because I'm going to be doing some decoupage on most of these and it, it, if you have decoupage before you know that it just works better if you have a lighter base so if I need to change the color of any of these I can go ahead and paint it over the white and it will cover well actually better that way anyway so i just like to go through and paint everything and i'm not going to be painting the insides of these cans because uh, most of these are going to have an arrangement or something like that covering that so i just go through and paint them all and once they're all painted and dry then I can start to create with them and then I don't have to let that step slow me down now I'll see how many of these napkins I can locate to link in the description but if I'm not able to find some of them uh, then I will also link some replacements that would work really well so I'm just going to go through and go ahead and add the napkins to each of these and then let them dry so what i like to do is um, glue these on and then once they dry you can uh, take your a little finger sander and sand around the edges of the top and the bottom and that will neaten it up but i'm just going to go through and cover all these and that way that step can also be drying and then i'll start creating each individual one but you can also do like i'm going to do on this is uh, once you get it covered make sure to go over all those edges well and get them plenty wet so that you can just kind of pull uh, the excess toward the can and it will just kind of tear off there and then you can neaten it up once it dries with your sandpaper now the napkins that don't reach all the way around i'll just glue uh, one image to one side and one image to the other now when you're decoupaging with napkins uh, most of you already know you're going to remove any of the layers that don't have the print on them so typically you'll have three layers total uh, and you'll remove those two but some napkins only have one extra layer so um, i like to take a piece of tape and just kind of pull uh, stick it to the other side of it and just kind of pull those off and and you'll be able to pull them off one by one
Now, once my cans are dry, then, um, and I've already taken my little finger sander and went around the top and bottom edges. Now, I'm taking my Distress ink and going around the top and bottom. And that's just a matter of preference. I just think it gives them more of a finished look and, and kind of gives them more of a vintage look as well. And then I'm just cutting some floral foam to fit down inside and I'll glue that in so that I can make an arrangement. Now for this particular one, I have drilled a hole on each side and now I'm twisting some uh, rusty wire so that I can make a hanger. And now I'm gluing some Spanish moss uh, on the top so that I can cover all that floral foam up. And I'm going to add some styrofoam eggs here and just kind of make this one look like a nest. And when I'm working with styrofoam eggs in a, an arrangement, I like to take a little piece of a skewer or a wire in this case and uh, stick it in the egg and then stick that down in the arrangement. That way it stays in place better. And then I'm gonna add some bits of floral and greenery uh, to just add a little something extra. And I think for this one, I tie some coffee stained cheesecloth that I have just kind of cut into a strip and um, tied around. With this one, it's actually sh too short to tie around it. So what I did was I took a piece that was just uh, long enough to reach all the way around. So I glued that around and then I tied a knot in the center of the other one and just kind of made it and glued it to the front to make it look like it was tied around. And cheesecloth is very fragile, so you just have to kind of be really careful with it, but I think it's really worth the extra trouble because I just love the rustic look of it. Now, as you can see, this can, the image didn't meet on the sides, but uh, that isn't a problem at all. Uh, when you're finished with all your embellishments, you don't even pay attention to that. It still has a really good look to it.
Now I'm just arranging uh, some pieces from this floral pick. Uh, actually, it has more of a greenery look to it and arranging that inside. And then I'm going to add some color to this as well. I'm going to add some of the colors that are in the images that I put on the front. Now, most of these are not going to need an explanation, uh, but when I need to speak up, I will and let you know what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm just going to play some music and let you guys watch. Now this one is going to be a nest because of what is on the front of this one. And um, I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to that nest. So I took some twigs and just kind of stuck them around the edges. And I'm trying to keep them all kind of going in the same direction because that's kind of how a nest is. And then once I get these all in, then I'll fill it in with some of the Spanish moss. And I wanted to add a base to this one, so I had this uh, little piece of log that um, was already cut, and I'm just gluing that on. That will add some weight, and that will kind of be like a riser for this, but I just feel like that look will look good with this 
uh, the napkin that I have put on this one. And now I'm just kind of wrapping some greenery uh, kind of randomly around that um, piece of wood. Now, as I'm editing this, I'm, uh, I've am i decided that the angle that I used to film this probably shouldn't have been overhead, and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to show plenty of after pictures, but you're not seeing a whole lot of the front of these, and again, I'm sorry about that. Um, it really should have been a different angle. Now these are just some little uh, cloth eggs and all I did was cut out two pieces of fabric and glued them together with some polyfill in them and I'm just using some stems from some of the picks that I took apart and I just kind of stuck that up in them and glued it there and that way I can add a little bit of dimension to this arrangement. I didn't turn any right sides, uh, to, I didn't put any right sides together and turn it. This were, was just very simple, rustic little eggs that I just glued two pieces of fabric together on. And these weren't sewn at all. This was all hot glue. And I made these stems three different heights so that um, you could see each one well. The one in the back is a little bit taller and then I just kind of graduated them down from that. And this one I also drilled a couple of holes in the side and um, added a hanger to this one. And I just used, again, I just used rusty wire on this one and um, attached it on both sides.
Now this one, I'm gonna just kind of make it look like a basket. And I had this little rusty coil, coil piece, and I'm not even sure where it came from, what it what it was originally, uh, but I just saved it thinking that I might use it, so I thought it would work well as a handle here. And, um, and then I'm just gonna paint the inside of this gray and sprinkle some cinnamon to just kind of make it look rusty inside because at this point I haven't really decided what I want to put in this one. Uh, I'm just going to kind of make it look like a basket for now. And for this one, I want to make the handle out of a piece of lace. And so I'm dipping that lace in some glue, and I'm using straight glue here so that when once it dries, it will be stiff. And then I'm going to glue that uh, to each side and then add some trim around that to make the handle. And so that it dried with the curve on it, I put it on a can to dry.
And now I'm taking some strips of lace and fabric and uh, tying them together to make a shabby bow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.